Split seconds save a pedestrian pulled out of the path of a police chase. What that speeding car hit instead. Thanks for joining us at 11. Good evening. I'm Stephen Holt. And I'm Natalie Pascarella. You're looking right there at the spot where that black sedan finally came to a stop, but only after slamming into a nearby motorcycle. News Force Checky Beckford live now in Midtown to walk us through the wild ride, Checky, that ended with an arrest. Well, Natalie, this whole thing spanned nearly a dozen city blocks. Police say it started at 50th and Madison when police tried to pull over a black Nissan Maxima trying to get away. The car hit people on a motorcycle here in this intersection. But what's really amazing about all of this is that no one was seriously hurt or killed because that car drove the entire block here before almost slamming into another couple in that intersection. Dramatic surveillance video shows a man pull a woman to safety just one second before a black car comes barreling at them. They're left shaken but safe on the sidewalk as a police cruiser comes around the corner following that car. He's driving very rough down the down this street right here. I've seen police cars coming down the opposite way. Witnesses say the car was out of control, driving on the sidewalk for an entire block before almost hitting the couple at the corner of 46th and 2nd, just one block south of where police say the Nissan Maxima slammed into a motorcycle carrying two people waiting at the light. One suffered a broken leg. The motorbike was parked over there at the stoplight waiting on the light, and the car hit it and end up on the sidewalk. This witness telling Telemundo 47's Pablo Gutierrez a passenger in the car then threw something out the window. He threw it out of the car. He threw the gun out of the car. Yeah. The gun now evidence covered by a paper bag in front of a Second Avenue apartment building. They got him. The wild incident ending nearly four blocks away, across from the United Nations, where one person was arrested, found hiding behind a nearby building. The damaged car left idling in the middle of the street. Police say it's unclear how many others were in the car. Witnesses left startled by the whole thing, grateful no one was killed. I hope everybody's safe. Now, police say the information so far is all preliminary. They have not released the name of that suspect or any charges he may be facing at this time. Police have also not said why the car was being stopped in the first place. In Midtown tonight, Jackie Beckford, News 4 New York.